Less than 10 months ago, tragedy here at Cape Kennedy rocked this nation's space program, set back our moon landing schedule by as much as a year, and set loose doubts about sending men into space at all. Today, the nation rejoices and hopes rise again that John Kennedy's goal of putting an American on the moon by 1970 will be realized. This is the big shot, the ride without astronauts of the giant Saturn V rocket. Project Apollo. This is Apollo 4, the test of our moon rocket in flight for the first time. It is the beginning, the first of many steps which will someday put men on the surface of the moon. Good morning. Behind me is the largest single object man has ever attempted to lift off the face of the Earth. Its official designation is Saturn V. It stands as tall as a 36-story building, and though it is unmanned for this flight, this is the monster rocket with which America ultimately will place men on the moon. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Five, four, we have ignition. All engines are running. We have liftoff. We have liftoff at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The tower has... My God, our building's shaking here. Our building's shaking. Oh, it's terrific. The building's shaking. big glass window is shaking that we're holding it with our hands. Look at that rocket go into the clouds at 3,000 feet. The roar is terrific. Look at it going. You can see it. You can see it. Part of our roof is coming here. We don't know if you can hear, ladies and gentlemen, but all the flight is moving along as it should be. But our observation booth here, the NBC observation booth, is literally being shaken apart. Our tape recorders seconds. are being thrown to the floor by the roar of this mighty rocket as it continues to climb into the sky on its seven and a half right. billion pounds One of breath. It minute. is a beautiful sight, good. an unbelievable sight. There's just never been anything like it. The Titan II that powered Gemini, the Mercury Atlas that uh, powered John Glenn in our early orbital flights, they looked impressive at the time. But not until you felt your flesh vibrate and your desk lift and your body thunder with the vibration from that rocket going could you sense the excitement. It's just bigger and it worked better the first time than anything we've ever used. The spacecraft is now well into its first revolution around the Earth and a Starak flight well underway. Frank? Thank you very much, Jules. I know you've had a very pleasant morning. Well, Apollo 4 is on the way, and the mission apparently seems to be going well. I think uh, for NASA and for America's space program, you can say, oh, what a beautiful morning this has been. This is Frank Reynolds in New York. <laughs>